What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's finally here, the day has finally arrived. We are doing our 200 subscriber food challenge special. We found a pizza place that was pretty decent to be completely honest, it was pretty decent and it's pretty close. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out because they do have a food challenge there where you have to eat this 12 inch diameter, pretty much giant calzone. So <laughs> one person, you get 30 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and try this. The place was pretty good last time we went. We got like this all meats pizza. Apparently the one that we're gonna have today is gonna have pepperoni, it's gonna have ham, chicken, bacon, like all the meats that they offer at this restaurant is gonna be at this location. The information will be down below. We've only been there once, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. With that said, we blew up in the last, I would say the last three weeks to one month. We ended up getting like an extra 20 or 30 people that subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We are slowly but steadily growing and we are actually about to hit a year since we did our first video in a couple of months. So I'm trying to think of something special we could do for that as well, but we will see. Thank you so much for the few people that did comment some new places that we should go and visit while here in Orlando. So we'll definitely be checking those out in the weeks to come. But today we're gonna see if the training that I've done in the last week and a half paid off and see if we could actually complete this challenge. I'm not personally a person that eats a lot, so I don't have much confidence, especially of how terrible that experience was last time that we tried the food challenge. I literally was only able to get through the fries and I left everything else, but hopefully today ends up a, uh, a little bit better. Of course, we're doing this for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and let's see if we can eat this giant cow's All right, guys, we are here. We made it really excited. It turns out that, oh man, I gotta, I'll got i tag his channel down below, but Beer Meets Food was actually here four days ago and had this food challenge. It took him 27 minutes out of 30 to actually finish it. You have to sign a waiver before you try it. It is ridiculously big, guys. It is it is a massive, like, I know 12 inches. I was thinking, like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, I, I've tried and attempted a challenge a couple years back with Danny, which I've talked about previously on this channel. And we tried to do a 28-inch pizza challenge. I almost finished my half. Um, he was just taking too long, and then some other things happened, and we ended up just giving up before we finished it. But I was almost able to eat half of that. So I was thinking, hey, you know what, 12 by myself, it's really, shouldn't be that big, but the thing is the pizza's like that thick based on the video that I just saw. So the good thing is apparently it's a very delicious pizza. It's unfortunate I didn't get a chance to meet Beer Meets Food. Um, it would've been kind of cool to see another fellow YouTuber here, but apparently a lot of people come to this place quite often. They have two locations. They have one here and they have another one a little bit further north here in Florida. Um, with that said, really excited. Hopefully we'll see how this turns out. Uh, apparently this pizza is going to be delicious, but can't wait to try it out. Now I will say once the pizza comes out, we're going to wait until it cools just a bit because it's going to be scalding hot. As soon as they bring it out, it's going to be just taken out of the oven, put in a plate, in a, like a large plate and brought out to me. We have some water that we're going to go ahead and drink along with it. Um, there is also a, a side cup of marinara sauce that we have to eat along with the pizza. So, you know, the Young Waitress was actually telling me, uh, or actually she's the hostess, I believe, but she was telling me of different tricks and tips. Um, like she said that most of the people that she's seen finish the challenge, like, like they pour the sauce into the pizza itself. But I think I'm gonna go old school and just kind of dip. And then I love marinara sauce, so I should hopefully be able to eat it on its own if we even get to that point. But really excited, so we'll see you guys. Thank you so much for coming with me with this journey. I will say that the next challenge like this will not be until we get 500 subscribers. So as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, no matter when it happens, we're gonna go ahead and try to do another challenge and we'll see if there's another one here in Orlando. I know there's a few. I know there's like seven or eight of them that we could try um, that we haven't done yet. So really excited. We'll see how this goes. All right, so they brought out the first part of the pie and that is the marinara sauce that comes with. So it's this pretty decent sized plate of marinara sauce. We gotta make sure we finish the sauce for it to be considered the challenge is complete. So even if I finish the whole pizza, but we don't finish the sauce, it doesn't count as part of the challenge. But the sauce, the smell coming from it, it's like, it smells really like a lot of vinegar, to be honest with you. I'm very curious to how it tastes. If it's anything like it was last week, it should be really good and pretty easy to kind of just drink down on its own. I love marinara sauce, so I could probably spoon it myself, dip the pizza like the crust to help eat the crust, but then just kind of spoon feed myself the, the marinara sauce. If you look at it, it looks really, really appetizing. It has little pieces of tomato in it as well. You can see the pepper, you can see the 
the oregano, you can see the slight pieces of onion, some of the pepper seeds. So, looks really, really, really good. I can't wait. Can't touch it yet though, until the pizza comes out, so we'll see. All right guys, the moment has finally come. This freaking pizza is huge. You gotta check this out. So I'm gonna try to lift it a little bit, just so you guys could see it. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. We're gonna try to wait till it cools down a bit, but this looks absolutely amazing. The crust is little pieces of Parmesan. It's brushed with butter. You can see it shining right through the light right above me. You can see the parsley, you can see the cheese. Look at all that, mm, it looks so good. And it's full of ham and pepperoni sausage and different meats like that oh it's gonna be a freaking load but if you look it's 12 inches in diameter that's my hand in comparison to it so it is pretty big but here's the thing it's not as thick as i thought it's about as thick as my my thumb i would say but right now we're just waiting for it to be nice and cool before we start stuffing our face and trying to attempt this challenge we got to finish this in the next 30 minutes in order for it to qualify if we do finish it, I think you still have to pay for it, but then any other time in the future that I come back, I get to eat um, at a discount with my wife. So I don't know how that is, but we'll check it out afterwards. We'll find out, but yep, we got to do these two in the next 30 minutes. So I'll see you guys right when we're about to start. All right, and then I did want to go ahead and do this so you guys can kind of see the inside. It is really stuffed. Talk about stuffed pizza. Look at the middle. The middle is the most. You can see the different layers of meats. Wow, this is going to be a very interesting and difficult challenges, but I think we can do it. It is cut into one, two, three, four, five, six slices, guys. So that's what we got to get through six slices of these. Go. Oh, ah, thank you. All right, guys, we're getting started. So let's go ahead and start digging in. All right. That is a lot of cheese. That first bite, the top is nice and crunchy. You get all the different flavors, but the ham's overtaking everything else on this. It's a food challenge, so I will say my beard's probably gonna get pretty dirty. I'm gonna try my best to wipe, but I gotta make up time. So the way it looks is you have a normal crust in the bottom, but it has like a lot of butter on it. And then right after you have three layers of pretty thick cut ham. After that, you have like two layers of sausage. Then you have a thin layer of, or actually you have two thin layers of pepperoni. Then you have a ton of cheese and then you have a ton of dough on the top as well. <laughs> People cheering me on, but they don't know. I'm not a competitive eater. As I said before, the marinara sauce, really sweet, really good. But, as pathetic as it is, we're at our limit. So here's what we're gonna do. We still got 20 minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the two crusts and then just take the loss. Still, this place is delicious. The pizza is really, really flavorful. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When I came last week, it was pretty good. In all honesty, it didn't feel like it was extraordinary. I'm not sure if maybe it was the pizza that we ordered, or just something happened that day. But this pizza is world's difference from what it was last week. This one's actually really, really good. Even if you don't order it as a challenge, you just kind of order this type of pizza. This is really, really, really good. Of course, if you're a vegetarian or, or a vegan, it's not gonna work. But we're gonna go ahead and start enjoying some of the marinara sauce. Oh man, that about wraps it up, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do any more. I mean, I probably could, but I don't want to put myself through that since, once again, I know I won't be able to finish this. 
With that said, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate all the new viewers that we're getting, the extra like 30 people that joined in the last like three weeks to a month. Thank you so much for taking us over the edge and really, you know, watching these videos and helping me grow. As you guys know, like, you know, the way we keep growing, the more we keep growing, we can visit more places and search for these like hidden gems. And hopefully in the future, it won't have to be just Orlando. But for right now, it'll still remain our focus unless you know, we're able to travel around a little bit. I'll show you guys a little bit different places and different areas. With that said though, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I will never be able to show you how much appreciation, no matter how many times I thank you or how many video specials I make. But thank you again, guys. I appreciate it. And I do hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Um, you have a great and fantastic week. Uh, enjoy pretty much, I believe it's going to be tomorrow by the time this video is out. It's going to be Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day with your significant other, however way you decide to celebrate it. But until next time, let's just keep on eating. All right, guys, I know we ended the video, but with that said, as I was coming to my car, I was like, man, that was like a lot of different, like that was really salty. Basically, you know, between the Parmesan cheese, all the meats, the pizza sauce and all that, it was really good. But like now that it's settled and I just walked out of the restaurant, like it's really salty. And look what I found next door. It's called the Naked Cupcake. So we're actually gonna head over there now and we're gonna try this place out. Let me see if I can get a, a cupcake or something sweet to go. If not, there is a Smoothie King right next door. I'll just pick up myself a smoothie, but I'm gonna need something because, whoo, that was a lot. <laughs> we only had two and a half slices, but trust me, it was a lot. All right, guys, we made it to the car. Uh, uh, we ended up stopping at a place, as you guys saw, right next door called the Naked Cupcake. I haven't tried any, any of them, but I did order a four pack. I'm gonna just grab a random one. Oh, the light just turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a random one of the four. Obviously the other ones I'm bringing home to my wife and, and like the family and things like that. But they looked really good. As you guys saw, they made them right in front of me. Um, this is weird. I've never ended the video and then just attempted to record. I just honestly didn't see this place. I was so focused on the pizza that when I got to the car, I was like, man, maybe I should have gotten something sweet with all that salty food that I just ate. You know, like I mentioned between the ham, the meats, the Parmesan cheese, the salted butter, the marinara sauce. I was like, oh man, I should have like cut all that richness and fatness and, and saltiness with something sweet. So great. It's uh, right next door to us. Uh, naked cupcake, man. So Let's go ahead and try one now before we head home and then we'll go ahead and uh, end the video for today, guys. All right, so this is what it looks like, <clears throat> the Naked Cupcake. Let's go ahead and open the box here and you're gonna see four different little cupcakes decorated. And it looks really nice. I believe she said one of them was red velvet, which I believe it's that one. Uh, we have a white chocolate. I'm sorry, this is the red velvet. This is a white chocolate. This one's a, a chocolate raspberry. And then this one I believe is a strawberry cupcake. I'm usually all about the chocolates and stuff like that, but I actually want to try this one for a change and taste it and see how it is. But let's go ahead and see if I can get in here. Ooh, oh man, it's nice. The cupcake's nice and warm a little bit. There you go, that looks really, really good, guys. Let's try it out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm trying my best here, trying to do this with one hand, but here's the cupcake. Let's try the cream first with the strawberry. Mm. It's strawberry buttercream with a little bit of <clears throat> strawberry glaze on top. It really comes together really, really well. I want to bite into it because all, as you guys saw in the video, all the cupcakes were actually filled. So let's go ahead and see if I can try to get this. Just unpeel it just a little bit. I just want to take one bite, just one good bite. So far, the buttercream itself, super delicious, super flavorful. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and take a bite of this cupcake and try it. Mm. So as you guys can see, the cupcake's nice. It's soft. It's delicious. The actual cupcake itself, I think, is a strawberry cupcake. So even the cupcake itself, like the cake part of it, is strawberry. So it all comes together really, really well. You have this delicious gooey filling that I bit down, kind of ate almost all of it just in one bite. But it just, it, it gives it this extra, basically, moisture 
in the cake itself so it's not like a dry cupcake as long as you have this creamy top man this is honestly it comes together really 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 well not only that but i get the best part about it is after being taking a trip to salt land eating this oh my goodness that was a great way to end the night that was delicious that was amazing i really liked it guys thank you so much for taking this trip with me once again but until next weekend and until next time while i finish this cupcake let's just keep on eating <laughs>